All right, guys, so we're going to get Gemini and your twin flame. What's going on with you and your twin flame, Gemini? Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I appreciate everyone's support. Guys, I do want to go ahead and apologize for any noises you may hear. There is a lot going on in the background. I'm just trying to get stuff done, multitasking, but we're still going to get these messages. What do we have got for Gemini and their twin flame? Don't forget, guys, to hit like, comment, and subscribe to get us to where we want to go, and I'll do a giveaway. Okay, someone's needing to choose a path. What's the current moment for Gemini and their twin flame? Someone's in their head. What's the challenge? Someone taking action. This could be with communication, Gemini. Someone wanting to come in and, yeah, someone's stuck. Maybe stuck on if they can have victory in this connection with you, if this is victorious. Guys, remember, energy is fluid. This can be how you're viewing this connection. You're viewing that the challenge is someone taking action and coming in with communication. You see them being stuck. You see them being very in their head. <clears throat> I feel like someone here is wanting balance. Someone is wanting things to be balanced out and equal give and take. Let's see where else this is going. How does Gemini's twin flame view this connection? How do they view Gemini? So right now they're viewing this connection. They're asking themselves, is this something that they want? Is this justice for them? Do they see a future here? Do they see this as something working out for them? Do they feel like you guys balance each other well? <clears throat> I feel like your person also feels really bound by maybe some truth or clarity that they feel like they can't get, which is why they're having a lot of self-reflection. But the challenge is them taking action. The challenge is them getting out of their head because they're very bound by their head and bringing in an offer. It's like they have to get over the hump of making a choice and coming in with some sort of truth and clarity. So guys, you could be dealing with someone who just won't speak their truth, who just won't commit who just won't give you more, who just won't compromise. For each of you, it's going to be different, but I do see the challenge being them taking action towards you and them having a lot of self-reflection on this connection. They are getting a lot of truth with this self-reflection. They're getting a lot of clarity, but I feel like they do have a lot of anxiety and worry, maybe about the future. I just heard, what if it doesn't work out? So they could feel a little more intimidated about... <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong and I just heard that they need more need more time so how they view you they view you as someone who come in very quickly very suddenly they didn't expect you they view you as someone who's also <clears throat> they've not told you this because my voice started going out they view you as someone that's very emotionally mature and giving you're very nurturing loving compassionate Very interesting. What's the near future energy for Gemini and their twin flame? The near future energy. <clears throat> someone's manifesting things to be balanced out. Because someone's feeling left out. Someone's wanting some sort of communication or message. So, guys, this could be you. You could be trying to manifest your person to come in and have a conversation with you. One more for near future energy. I'm seeing a lot of pinnacles. Yep. See, someone being very conflicted on whether or not they should accept an offer. Now, again, guys, this could be them even wondering if they should invest with you, collaborate with you. So I'm getting very back and forth energy. <clears throat> God bless America. My throat. Hold on a second. What is Gemini's person keeping to their self? They could have dealt with a very hard ending that brought a lot, a lot out in them. It could have knocked them off their stability, their foundation. It could have been somebody that they felt was a soulmate, a twin flame, or somebody that was going to be here for the long haul. 
This person could have found out that someone here cheated or betrayed them in some sense, form, or fashion with a family member or friend, not necessarily. <clears throat> I feel like they could be having a lot of heart. Yeah, it's very burdensome for this person. I feel like your person could still be trying to deal emotionally with something that's happened in their past. Something, now guys, if you've ever, yeah, because it was a message of bad news and it brought to change and transformation. Maybe a season that this person didn't think that they were going to get through. And I feel like things were balancing out, but I do feel like if you've ever been in a hard connection where things really crumble and you find out someone's been cheating or lying or not saying who they truly are or has fed you an illusion, there's very hard energy in that kind of connection, especially if you come out of it and you have a hard time trusting people, you have a hard time opening up. And Gemini, I feel like this person keeps how hurt and how hard whatever happened to them was. Now, for each of you, it is going to be something different. But I do feel like that there was something in their past where they thought that they were going to have victory and success with someone, someone that they were very attracted to. There was a lot of passion and chemistry. But I do feel like something come out. Um, I feel like it, it was somebody's dirty little secret, if you want me to be honest, because I've seen a Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords behind her. So it could have definitely been somebody that they were married with or they lived with or somebody that they felt they have some sort of stability with, that they felt that they had built a foundation with that person. Yeah, and then a lot of things come out, come, come out of the dark, and it could have literally been another person. I'm not even kidding. <clears throat> Gemini. What do you not see about this twin flame that you're dealing with? They're very on guard and they're very defensive. I feel like they're very defensive about their past. They're very defensive on, um, they're very set in their ways. They're very guarded with their energy, what they're willing to give. So this is the kind of person where if you're like, hey, listen, I want to go out with you. And they're like, okay, but I'm not giving you a commitment. Don't ask me. I've done told you. Don't come at me with any of that kind of energy. And it's because this person has a lot of anxiety and fear when it comes to giving anyone an offer and working on something and throwing their self back into something. I feel like it would take a lot of strength and a lot of courage for this person to do that. But I feel like right now they're wanting to be in a defensive look. And look what I just pulled, the Nine of Pentacles. And that's what I was about to say. They're wanting to be in a defensive energy. It could definitely be easier for them to choose to stay guarded and be set in their ways and be able to go home to their self and go out when they want to and not really have to be vulnerable or give someone the ability to hurt them. I feel like this person is scared of being hurt. And there's a choice here where they are going to have to decide if they're wanting to collaborate, come in and make an offer to you. So I'm seeing back and forth energy. Someone being very anxious and the challenge being them taking action. But they are reflecting. A lot of reflection. For some of you, they could not want you to know if they were cheated on in the past or something of that sort. I feel like it really dimmed their self-worth. What they feel was their value. What does Gemini need to focus on right this moment? <clears throat> so I feel like if you're having any really harsh energy or anything coming up that's been really hard for you, you're needing to heal that. Also, I feel like there could be some sort of job, creative idea, or something like that that you've, you've had. And I feel like they're wanting you to focus on that because I do see a lot of money that could possibly come in. Yeah, look. Focus on your money because you could be feeling lack in some sense, form, or fashion. There could also be some sort of drama or conflict coming in from your work where somebody could be lying or cheating or stealing or doing something manipulative. You could end up having to make a hard choice on whether or not you're wanting to let that go. That's going to be for some of you. Um, yeah, look, it's Page of Swords. It's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like if something like that happens, they're wanting you to take a step back. Any hard truths that you get right now, any hard lessons... Any curveballs that you're getting thrown, <clears throat> oh my God, my throat, <coughs> excuse me, give yourself permission to take a step back, reflect, and rest, because I do feel like the energy that's going to be coming up for you could be very hard, um, but just put your head down and grind, just put your head down and grind. You, you have bigger things to worry about than this person having a hard time on whether or not they're wanting to come in and invest. 
yeah, look, they're guarded on coming in and having communication with you. Although they see you as someone that they, to be honest, they see you above their match. They see you as someone that's out of their league. Which could be why they're so guarded on coming in and having communication with you. But they do see you as someone that they have a lot of emotion and a strong connection with. But again, I feel like you have bigger fish to fry. And I feel like that's why the universe said, hey, focus on this because this is about to come up. We're just going to go ahead and give you a warning. Don't let any drama, conflict, or any anybody trying to stir the pot at work mess with you. Yes, you could get bad news. But I feel like whatever's happening is happening in your favor. And I feel like if you take your emotions out of it and you really take a step back, you'll say, you know what? Things are working out in my favor. I, I really hated that job. I didn't have emotion for it. I didn't love it anymore. I feel like they're bringing balance into your environment for you. While this person figures out what the hell they want. Okay. What is Gemini's twin flame thinking of right this second? Besides the fact that I can't get all the cards in the, They're thinking about their beliefs. So, again, like I said, a lot of self-reflection. They're asking themselves if the, the beliefs that they grew up with, the way that they've seen people, they're thinking, is it benefiting them? I do see them thinking about, oh, my God, there's, holy shit, there's four offers down here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I see a huge new beginning. Again, I feel like they're asking themselves, are they missing out on something that's worthy? Are they scared? Are they holding themselves back? So like I said, I feel like this person's self-reflection is going to help them a ton. While you focus on things that you need to focus on. This person could have children as well in the connection or have children that they're having to worry about. But look, look what's on the bottom. Love yourself first, and that's what I'm getting. There's an energy here where, Gemini, you need to focus on yourself and the fish that you got coming at you right now. There's fish coming left and right, and you need to deal with them. And the bigger fish, the fish that you want, is coming here soon. But let them let them go through this clarity, needing to understand what they want. And this, for some of you, could just be, do I want more commitment? Do I want marriage? Maybe I've been lying to myself. Maybe I do see me getting married again. And also see worth waiting for. So divine timing is a huge factor in this connection. And divine timing, guys, really has to do with each person's ability and willingness to heal and, go, and understand the lessons that we're going through. If someone here isn't willing to go in and really say, you know what, why, why, why am I struggling with this person? Why am I struggling with this connection? Why will I not open up? Then it's going to make it take longer. Look, you deserve love and healing family issues. I feel like this is what I've been saying, and I feel like that's this the person that you're dealing with. There is a sense of unworthiness that someone here feels when it comes to this connection. And I do feel like this person... Like I said, how they view you, they view you as emotionally stable, grounded, abundant, something that come in super unexpectedly. But I'm about to give y'all a curveball. I feel like they view you as someone that they have a lot of love for. But again, I feel like there's an unworthiness that they're going to have to get over. And if they don't get over that, they're never going to be worthy of this connection. The way you feel scares me. Yeah, it's time for me to heal the past. That's what I'm getting. Let's see if we can pull maybe two more. Every time I'm around you, I want to be around you more. Everywhere I go, I look for you. You will meet or met this person online. Someone needs to open up. This was a co connection, was a spiritual lesson. So again, I do feel like there was a lesson learned here. Again, this person needing to open up and learn worthiness through this connection. Yep, I was very stubborn. I wish I could rewind time and change a few things. <sighs> See, Pisces. Ooh, some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, Gemini. Okay. Um, let's get a few more. Yeah, look, I've been struggling. I feel like your person has been struggling emotionally, internally. What else does this person feel for Gemini? I hide who I really am from you. 
Again, I feel like this person is scared to be vulnerable, scared to open up, and needing to have a lot of self-reflection on why they're not taking action. Why are they so bound in their head? Yeah, I wish I could share my good news with you because there is an energy here where they do want to talk to you, reach out to you, and they want to bring in an offer, but it's an offer that's barely moving sometimes. It's stable, it's grounded, but hell, we don't know when it's going to get here. Very interesting reading. I do feel like this person has been struggling significantly, again, with maybe the way that they've their thinkings, their beliefs, the things that they feel like are starting to hold them back. I was careless with you. For some of you, they could feel like that they were careless with you and they're scared that now you won't accept an offer that's coming in. Again, like I said, I feel like their energy is all over the place. I feel like there is a lot of self-reflection that this person's going through. Ooh, let's get a Moonology card. But someone here is definitely going to have to step outside of their comfort zone and I feel like it's the person you're dealing with, Gemini. Your twin flame's going to have to step outside of their comfort zone while you just focus on other things and let them figure out what the hell they're got, they got going on. Release your blocks. So your person could definitely have a lot of blocks. Needing to release a lot. This could also be you needing to release a lot in your environment now to make open space for this to come in. Gemini and their twin flame. My brain keeps going blank. And I don't know why. It's so weird. Gemini and their twin flame. Yeah, push through in any insecurity. And that's what I'm getting. This person feels unworthy. They're very insecure. And then lighten up. Some of you guys, the first thing that popped out to me was Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. I feel like... Gemini, when you met this person, you had this very lightened up energy that really blew them away. Again, there's a sense of they didn't they didn't know what to expect that day, and they got so much. I'm hearing that Miley Cyrus song, I came in like a wrecking ball, so I kind of feel like that's your energy for this person. They didn't expect such a strong connection to come in that day. And you really lightened this person up, and is re you've really made this person question a lot about their self, a lot about how they conduct their self, what they're willing to negotiate and what they're not willing to negotiate. Yeah, look, you are good enough. And again, it's like this person needing to understand that they're worthy. Wanting to share their good news with you, wanting to communicate with you, wanting to have that kind of connection, but feeling somewhat unworthy. And possibly for some of you, showing that in a careless way, whether it be by their words or something like that, not giving you what you wanted, not taking action when they should have, being lack of action so damn long. Yeah, and look what just come out. Honor your feelings in the reverse, and that's what I was picking up on. This person could have not taken action for so long. This person could be holding on to things that have happened and not forgiven and still have so much emotion and things that have happened in their past that it's hard for them to really let something new and fresh in. But I do feel like, as I said this, the energy in this connection is gaining momentum. So I feel like it's going in a good direction. Again, I feel like you need to focus on yourself, Gemini. Do what you've been doing and let this person just kind of simmer. Let the universe keep working on them. And I feel like you're needing to step up and lead and show this person, you know what, I'm fearless and I'm about to show you how it's done. All right, my loves, we're going to leave this here for today. I hope that made sense. Have a blessed day.